Hi, this is Vincent Carrazza, the voice of Carlos Oliveira on Resident Evil 3. Um, well, the opportunity to play Carlos came to me through an audition uh, from my agents in Toronto when I lived back in Canada. And uh, I guess Capcom must have listened to the audition and liked what they heard and they uh, hired me. What do I think about Carlos? Um, I don't know. It was a long time ago that I did the uh, the video game, but I guess you know, on the whole, he's a cool. He seemed like a cool guy, and uh, you know, uh, a hero, heroic, which is always fun to play. Um, uh, yeah, and the theme behind Resident Evil, the series. Well, uh, what do I think about that? Um, you know, it's a video game. I'm, I'm not the biggest video game player myself, but uh, I have tons of friends who love them, and they love the Resident Evil series. Uh, and I've heard it's great. Uh, I've played around with it a little bit myself, but like I said, I'm not the biggest video game guy. So, uh, you know, I think it's cool. It's crazy, you know, fun. As long as people are enjoying themselves, that's all that matters. The recording sessions were fun. Uh, video games are hard uh, in terms of just the, the taxing uh, work on the voice because they're long sessions. The Resident Evil sessions were sometimes eight hours. Um, we recorded like every day for I think it was a couple weeks and we would do eight hour sessions and it was pretty intense because there's a lot of screaming and yelling and it's just, you know, like we're doing a lot of like, you know, being killed or killing people and um and so it's really hard on your on the vocal cords and then we did work with uh, a director a voice director that you know gave us you know the kind of the setup and what they were looking for and how to you know react depending on the scenarios that were going on um and we also had input from uh people from Japan where the game was made so that cuz they were involved in the actual design of the game Ah, uh, yeah. Um, as far as that question goes, I, I, like I said, I don't play the game. I didn't really know a lot about it. And it was a long time ago when I recorded it, so I'm sorry to let anybody down, but I don't know who Chris Redfield is. <laughs> and I don't really know a lot about, you know, this what you guys are asking me in this question. Um, escaping from a dead city, sharing the burden of taking care of Jill, all that stuff. Uh, you know, I just, I read the lines, you know, tried to get into the character, into the situations that were given to me at the time as an actor. And that's pretty much what I do. Um, that's about it. Actually, Catherine and I recorded together quite a bit of the stuff. She had recorded some stuff first um, as well, um, but then we did a lot of recording together. And then we did some stuff separately too, like just, you know, like I said, a lot of the action stuff where we were being killed or killing people or attacking, a lot of that stuff we did on our own. But we actually worked together quite a bit because I guess we were um, always together in the game. So, and it was a lot of fun. And it, it is a lot easier to record with another actor because um, you get to play off of each other. So uh, that was great. A lot of times with animation or video games, you record by yourself. And sometimes it just can, it can be a little flat because you don't have that energy of another actor to work with. Uh, yes, I did meet Catherine Disher, and I met her when we were recording the video game. So, yeah, I kind of answered that question already. <laughs> uh, she's great. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I haven't seen her in years. I moved to Los Angeles uh, a while ago, and I've never crossed paths. No, actually, I never got the chance to do Carlos again in any of the Resident Evils. Um, they contacted me after the th for the fourth game about potentially getting involved, but at the time I was really busy um, doing a lot of on-camera work and a lot of other voiceover work and stuff like that, and I guess we just couldn't work it out. I, I don't re really remember the details of what happened, but it was a long time ago, and 
I just remember they did contact me, contact me, and they were interested in working again, but it just we couldn't work it out, unfortunately. I don't really know. Um, other than the fact that we share the same voice, <laughs> I don't know if uh, I don't really know if we'd had to have anything in common. Um, I'd like to think I'm heroic. Uh, I'd like to think I'm kind of cool, but maybe that's not what everybody else would think. Um, so yeah, I know we have the same voice in common. I didn't see the movies. Um, wow, this is not going so well. You guys are going to be so depressed and sad that I'm not giving great answers. Um, you know, I didn't see any of the films. Um, but I have had a lot of contact from with fans from the game who have contacted me through the you know over the years um, through the internet. And uh, there's a lot of people who have websites and fan sites and stuff of my work and of Resident Evil, and they've often expressed that they were very disappointed in the films and I've had a lot of people say that they weren't happy with the uh, guy who played Carlos in the movies and you know but I, I didn't see them so I can't really say anything bad about it or anything good about it I, I don't know um, I've always meant I've always been meaning to see those movies actually I, I want to see them I gotta I gotta do that one day rent them or watch them um, but yeah I can't really answer the question because I never saw them Uh, absolutely. I definitely believe that nowadays the, the, the production quality of video games is starting to rival that of Hollywood. I mean, the money that they, they pour into to develop these games and, you know, the graphics and the details and the scripts um, and the acting and the directing and everything is just, it's absolutely on the level of, of Hollywood. I mean, certainly when you're doing live action movies, it's a much bigger undertaking, but the work that goes into uh, some of these video games nowadays is amazing. The the drawings, the renderings, the design work, the, you know, it's years to create this stuff and it's millions and millions of dollars, um, especially for the big ones like Resident Evil and Halo. And, you know, I mean, I've been involved in quite a few big video games like Spider-Man and EverQuest and um, I actually just recently worked on the Watchmen video game that's coming out to go along with the new movie. And it's just huge, the production value. It's amazing. Um, I decided to become an actor when I was very, very young. It's, uh, I don't know, I just, it just, uh, I gravitated towards it. Um, I always thought that it was something I wanted to do and, um, I guess as far as the voiceover career goes, when I was little, I used to watch cartoons all the time and I would imitate a lot of the characters. My favorite cartoon as a kid was Scooby-Doo. And actually, I got to work on an episode of Scooby-Doo um, a few years ago and I got to work with Casey Kasem, who's the voice of Shaggy. So I would say that Casey Kasem and uh, Frank Welker, who's the voice of Scooby and the voice of Freddy, those were huge influences to me. Um... Yeah, yeah, th those are kind of my biggest idols and influences when I was younger, just because they were the voices of like a lot of the cartoon characters that I loved. Um, you know, Casey Kasem was Shaggy and he was um, Robin in the Justice League of America cartoon, which I loved. Um, so uh, I guess they would be my inspirations and idols and, uh, and, um, and it was awesome to meet them. It was amazing. I'm the only person of my family that is in this crazy business, other than my wife. Uh, but my actual um, relatives, like cousins or uncles or parents or sister or anything like that, no, nobody else is in the biz, just, just me. I'm the only crazy one. <laughs> Um, future plans and works. I am, well, I'm always working in voiceover. I do a lot of uh, commercials, video games, animation. I do promos for Fox and NBC and a lot of the networks. And um, as far as on camera goes, uh, we're in the midst of a horrible strike right now. Uh, or we, the writer strike has ended, but the SAG strike is still kind of going on. So it's a bit of a nightmare right now. Um, and I'm also, I've got some scripts that I'm trying to develop and produce um, so hopefully keep my fingers crossed that all that goes through and maybe one day I'll be able to produce my own movies and star in them as well that's that's my uh, big plans <laughs> uh, 
Uh, to any fans out there of Carlos or of me, I just want to say thank you for all your support. Um, you know, I do this job because I love it. Um, it's fun. Uh, and there's nothing better in the world than hearing from you guys and knowing that people enjoy what I do um, and have enjoyed Carlos in the video game. It's just... It's awesome. It means everything, you know, to, to know that there's people out there that, you know, that what, that what I do for a living makes people happy or makes them feel things and, or it can be inspirational. So I just want to say thank you to every, every fan out there who's ever bought the game or seen anything I've been in and has enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure and uh, all the best. Thanks a lot. Good night.